Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. It's just a quick time lapse today building the centre of Manchester. So we're starting off in Manchester Piccadilly with the nice big terminus station and none of those platforms are in the right places. I need to get another two in somewhere. Manchester Piccadilly is a bit of an awkward one. All of the platforms are different lengths. The ones in the middle are the longest for the terminating of anti-west coast services. But not the ones that I can actually make the longest, so I've, I've had to play a bit fast and loose with the actual layout. There's the Metrolink platform in a tunnel underneath, as you can see there, and then the two through platforms off to the side, platforms 13 and 14. A really awkward place, because to get them as part of the same station, the platforms between them and the main station have to be slightly longer than they should be. There's awkwardly seven tracks on the approach to Manchester. I can only build in pairs at the moment, so I have to have six, which also makes it a bit awkward as to where, where which platforms each track go into. So I've kind of gone for the approach of the furthest right six can be accessed by the furthest right track as you approach, and then the rest can be accessed by the middle track, with the through platforms being accessed by their own track on the left. So just neatening up all the tracks on the throat, and track out of the three platforms although I come back and change that later and then just a simple simple I, I've built them in several places hence why I call them simple crossover so that every line can be accessed from everywhere else because I'm reasonably confident trains do need to get all over the place in this throat and once I stop just not doing anything we will continue building down slightly to I think it's Annick or something like that, Ardwick. Yeah, Annick's in the north, it's it's got a castle. It's in Northumberland somewhere. Ardwick is in Manchester, however. So now we're heading out towards, I think it's Oxford Road over here, which I start off building on the ground, even though technically this entire area is on a viaduct. And then I change my mind to build it on a viaduct. <laughs> because it means that the platform's an hour and I can get it in a lot easier. I did also change my mind about this track and decide to build it all on a viaduct, as it is. Technically that platform at Piccadilly is also on a viaduct. In fact, the whole of Piccadilly is raised up, so it could all be considered to be on a viaduct, but we'll just do the, uh, just do the track into it for now. And then we'll just continue on a viaduct all the way along because that ends up being easier, what with the amount of canals I need to cross towards Deansgate, which is here coincidentally. So we'll just put that in quickly and then we have a split and I don't know where either of the line, well I know where one of the lines goes, one wraps round into Victoria. I don't know where the other line goes to though. It, it sort of heads in the direction of Liverpool, it's one of three that link Manchester to Liverpool. I think it, it's the southmost one. So once I work out where to build it, which is roughly here, and then there's a tram alongside it, the, the Manchester Metro that runs alongside, which I have currently put in as a tramway. And in a minute I will change my mind, um, as I often do. That minute has come because the tramway can't be built over water. So there we go. And now, because it's meant to go over the railway, I have to stay on a fire touch and the, the main railway has to go onto the ground, temporarily. Which is not the easiest to do in this small space. But there we go. So now we'll continue round with the railway, I do believe. There's a triangle junction to split off to the second line across to Liverpool. And the track round to the right that I'm building now continues on round to Victoria. And I get this slightly wrong the first time. I built this here, thinking that was the other side of the triangle junction. It's not, that's the um, the awkward other bit. It, this, this area of line is a bit weird because there is a triangle junction followed by a split and then there's also a bypass line effectively that skips the triangle junction entirely to go around from Salford Central to Salford Crescent. So that's what I'm building now with a couple of sidings, the other side of the grass apparently. Salford Central goes here. I think Salford Central is intended to get more platforms so that it can be accessed from the line round as well as the bypass route. Currently you can only access it if you're going around to Salford Crescent as well. I think that is planned to change. Or it already has, but it hasn't on open railway maps. So, still only the two platforms for now. 
and the lines continue around heading towards Victoria with a way to get across between them. And then Victoria's up here underneath the Manchester Arena. So we'll start putting in platforms. There's not a lot of platforms at Victoria for what is a reasonably major inner city station. You might be able to hear the plane going overhead very loudly. It's just the four throughs and two terminating and then some tram lines again. So we'll get the, the main tracks in and out the other side, which is reasonably simple. There's not a lot of not a lot of track work needed there. And then I believe we'll head back down to Salford and work around to Salford Crescent now. Maybe. At some point. I thought I cut out the bits where I wasn't doing anything, but clearly not. So Silver Crescent goes up here. I believe probably named after this because it's just after a crescent of track. I imagine that the track forms a crescent shape here. I've connected that up to the wrong line because that one's just sidings. And then it comes down across that road. And the main line to Liverpool continues out with a branch off up to Salford Crescent. So that's what I mean, it forms a weird crescent shape with a bypass line. The main line continues under this pretty much a motorway junction I think, under the roundabout and runs alongside that road. And now we'll move on to a bit of Metrolink quickly, starting with Deansgate to Castlefield. Adjacent to Deansgate, in reality completely connected. In game, because it's the other side of the river, not a lot I can do. It will not be connected, or I'll have to do, I think I did at Birmingham, probably off camera. I've connected New Street to Grand Central now, New Street being the main station, Grand Central the nearby tram stop. I've added in just a, I believe it, just a tunnel station platform thing between the two to connect them up, even though no train uses it, it just connects them into the same station, so Grand Central is now called New Street, but it means that passengers will actually use Grand Central. This is mainly because I found thousands of people waiting at New Street trying to get to Jewelry Quarter, which is really awkward by rail, it requires going out to Smethwick. Gilton Bridge and then getting another train round to Jewelry Court on the Stone Hill lines. But by tram is direct, so I'm hoping it will shift more people to the albeit slower tram line. But back to Manchester, we built the Metro Link out to Piccadilly Gardens and Market Street. It's a bit complicated here because there's this sort of line round and then the, the normal route, and there's also meant to be a curve here around the grass. It's really difficult to explain. Um, basically there's, instead of just being a normal triangle junction, it's almost all of a triangle junction, but one extra line that goes, instead of along the triangle junction, it, it goes out further away around a patch of grass and trees. I have been there, but it's still really hard to explain. And it's connected the tram up to Piccadilly, and now we'll go around the other side of the large shopping centre that I can't remember the name of to Exchange Square, or as the game wants to call it, Shambles Square. I've made all the tram platforms 60 metres because that's the shortest length I can make them. It was still way too long for the Birmingham West Midlands Metro and for the Croydon tram link for that matter. But I think I think it will be okay for Manchester Metro Link. I haven't checked the length of the trams. I do have them. They are an asset in my model list which is linked in the description if you want to see it. Um, but I haven't used them yet, I haven't looked at how long they are, so hopefully these platforms will be long enough in the end. And then out of Victoria, it's worth mentioning Deansgate, Castlefield and Victoria for that matter are both three platforms. I've made them four because I believe they both have terminating services, or at least they might, I'm not sure. Um, you, In theory I need this link so you can get from every platform to every track out but I can't get it in nicely so I've kind of omitted it and hoped everything will be fine without it. So I'll leave it there because I'll try a bit more but I can't get it in. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.